I am losing my fucking mind. I've actually have already lost it. Oh, tell December 20th, 2019. As of today, it marks the official halfway point of my bed rest. So now I have it exactly four more weeks to go. So, and then roughly three weeks of rehab. I mean, three weeks of um, PT. So anyways, uh, welcome back to Three Madness. Today's video is on why I'm in here and what happened to me. So um, this is like the 13th time I've tried to do this video. That's why there wasn't a video yesterday. So hopefully nobody will bother me for a good half an hour anyway. Because I expect the lunch lady to come in here at around 1. So it's almost a little past 1230. So anyway, basically what happened to me is... Oh, from uh, February to April, I was sick with septicemia, blood poisoning, was hospitalized. With pneumonia, I had flu, pneumonia, blood poisoning, and a really, really bad kidney infection. So that was from f February. This was the start of the whole mess. So that lasted from February to April of this year, so for three or four months. Uh, May and June, I had a reprieve. I was just feeling cruddy from being sick prior, but, you know, cruddy and tired, and my immune system was compromised. Uh, and then uh, late July came rolling around, and everything came back. The pneumonia, uh, the kidney infection came back. It turned into pneumonia and a kidney infection, which, which again turned into blood poisoning, septicemia, sepsis. So I was hospitalized for a second time. And then um, after that, it gets a little fuzzy. Um, I know I did a, a stint in August. I mean, not a stint. I did a stint in, uh, in September with six weeks of rehab at the rehab I'm in now. Uh, somewhere along the line, I had an accident and um, I tore a, a large gash in the side of my leg, my outer thigh of my leg where I can't feel because I have paralysis, so I didn't know what happened. And we caught it later on that day, but it was too late and it already was going infected and my temperature went through the roof and vitals were going crazy. So I was hospitalized for uh, a third time a uh, second time actually a third time no third time and um they cleaned it up and um when they were done i had to go in for surgery and they when they were done there was a four inch hole in the side of my leg which was roughly two inches deep and it got all the way down to the bone and um they let it heal my again my system collapsed and my nutrition went to zero my vitals were going crazy and um it was just a really really brutally bad infection so that lasted for a while <laughs> and then i went back into rehab no i didn't go back into rehab um yeah so i did some rehab and then they tried to do surgery on my leg, and it failed. They tried to sew it up, and it, the stitches popped. Um, actually, while I was in rehab, so yeah, I was still in rehab, I guess. That's where it gets all wonky and shadowy, because I don't remember the timeline. All I know is that I was sick. I only was sick. I've been sick all year, every month, and every day this year, with the exception of some days. Uh, in May and June, so my mind's a little monkey. My short-term memory is fucked, and um, my vision's off. Uh, my it's just terrible. Been a bad year. So I had two surgeries on my leg, and then um, I got to go home, and, but I still had the wound. And I was, I was waiting for the plastic surgery people to get back to me, and they finally did. So I got to go home in October, and 
I spent nine days at home and uh, my system crashed again and I had to go back into the hospital again. This was right before, um, this was right before uh, Halloween and I was in the hospital again and um, with another fever, another infection, multiple infections in my leg. Uh, system was still fucked. They thought I had um, they thought I had a condition called Addison syndrome, which was an autoimmune deficiency um, condition where your adrenal glands attack your body, and they won't allow your body to absorb nutrients. So I had no nutrients in my system, and I crashed multiple times from from July to October. I was crashing all, I was crashing multiple times. And um, so they've stabilized me, they figured it out, they said I don't have Addison's. And they basically just pumped me full of so much, so much vitamins that finally it took, uh, I had rapid weight loss, I lost 47 pounds. Um, and um, yeah. So then I went back into rehab for the second time, and this is where I'm at right now. I went back into rehab for the second time um, in um, early, no uh, early November, and basically I've been here ever since. So I missed everything this year. I missed all the holidays. I, I missed all the conventions, everything I normally go to. I didn't miss my birthday. I got to go home for my birthday and my birthday was awesome this year my brother came up from virginia and flew up to spend the day with me my brother my brother and his wife and he's just an awesome guy so uh last 20 days ago oh actually 30 days ago it's been a month i finally got the plastic surgery on my wound they cleaned it all up and i have a, like a 12 inch uh incision on the the back of my my leg and it's about 12 inches long by about an inch wide and that's where I'm at right now I have eight weeks of bed rest and because the incision so long the scar is so long it has to heal up and for the most part it's healed up now and and um, <clears throat> there's just a couple of spots that are still soft and haven't dried up and healed yet so as of today, I have another four weeks of, um, of bed rest and then um, physical therapy for a few weeks. And then if all goes to plan, so far everything's gone to plan. Since I've been, been in here, everything's fallen into place. So hopefully that pattern will continue. And uh, I get to go home sometime in late January, late January, I'm hoping like maybe the first week in, um, in February. So I basically got the rest of this month in January. So I basically got about, conservatively, I got about eight weeks left. So uh, yeah, it sucks for me and there's no place like rehab for the holidays. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's what happened to me, and it's been shitty and the worst fucking time of my adult life. I mean, that I could, that's the sickest I've ever been, ever, ever, ever in my life. This is the sickest in my adult life that I've ever been. Uh, just being sick for this amount of time was astronomically bad. I mean, friggin' all year. I've only had two months out of the year that I wasn't sick, so... Anyways, uh, that's it, summary in a nutshell, so um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I finally got this video done. So, yeah, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and get that bell button and all that stuff. I appreciate you all. See you in the next video. Find you surrendering in a mad world. I'm out.